There has been no federal election call in Canada yet, but it could be coming in the months ahead, and all parties are preparing. It will be the first election for the Green Party's new leader, Anami Paul. She has been focusing on policy announcements, including the campaign for a universal basic income, a shift in focus for the Greens. Our chief political correspondent, David Aiken, joins me. David, you also discovered something that could distract from election preparations. Donna, last fall, the party's executive director quit after some party members raised concerns about his work for a previous employer. But some other party members thought those concerns were unfair and they thought the party handled the case poorly. And now those party members want the party leadership to address this issue. And so they have sent a letter to the party's federal council. A copy of this letter was obtained by Global News and they explained why. A pattern of poor governance has taken hold at the Green Party. Qualified, effective and innovative professionals within our party are often pushed away. We, as a party, must do better. The letter was signed by the party's former interim leader, Joanne Roberts, a former national campaign director, Jonathan Dickey, and others, including a past president and a past party president. Current party leader, Anami Paul, took over weeks after the controversial personnel decision was made. It's not having an impact on our electoral preparedness. Paul's bigger challenge is to convince Canadians her party is about more than just climate change. Polls show that while climate change was a top of mind issue for most voters in 2019, the pandemic has changed that and voters now are much more concerned about their own health and their own ability to pay the bills. As a result, expect Paul and the Greens to have a different emphasis in 2021 than the Greens did in 2019. There is no climate justice without social justice as well. And so during this pandemic, our focus has been, while never forgetting the climate, of course, uh, has been on ensuring that people don't fall through the cracks. The Green Party will also have a new tactical focus this spring, aiming squarely at the NDP, trying to turn the two dozen orange seats in the House of Commons into two dozen green seats. Donna? Okay, David Aiken in Ottawa, thanks.